bouncing off the walls. I've been bouncing off the walls. I've been bouncing off the walls. Hello, everyone, and welcome to HD News. Today on HD News, Mr. Walker HD will be talking to you all about what really grinds his gears. But before I let him take the show, I need to remind you all to click the like button, click subscribe, click the bell next to subscribe so every time he uploads, you get a notification and you can share with your friends, get their friends to share it, get their friends and friends and friends to share it. Because if you don't do that, that will really grind Mr. Walker HD's gears. Mr. Walker HD, take it away. Thank you, news reporter. So, you wanted to know what really grinds my gears? What I'm about to tell you. The first topic we've got today on what really grinds my gears is cancel culture. Yep, that's right, I said it. Cancel culture. People are trying to cancel anything and everything for the most ridiculous reasons whatsoever. People that are involved in cancel culture and cancel culture themselves, fuck you. You lot need to sort your life out because cancel culture, like, what are you doing? You're just... Flipping through things that are very unnecessary and just finding anything to complain about. Like, here's an example I've got that I've seen on the internet. Dr. Seuss. People have managed to cancel six Dr. Seuss books due to hurtful and wrong imagery. Like, it's a fucking kid's book. If you're an adult looking through a kid's book and thinking, Oh, this imagery is wrong and hurtful. Well, I'm sorry, love. Or sir, but I reckon you need to look in the mirror and just look at yourself and think, what the fuck am I doing? Looking through a kid's book, trying to complain about it. Nah, that is not on. Loads of kids have grew up reading those books, watching the films, and enjoying life. And you're trying to take that away from further generations. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing? Like, cat in a hat. No problem with that. Fox and socks. No problem with that. Green eggs and ham. No problem with that. Sam I am does not like you. Sam I am will not like you. He does not want to give you green eggs and ham because he knows that you'll complain about it. You'll probably complain about it saying, well, the egg should not be green. It should not be green. And the ham should not be green. Like, what the hell? You people are the reason the world is fucked. F-U-C-K-E-D Fucked So you lot of cancel culture Sort your priorities out Sort your life out Just live your life If you don't like the green eggs and ham books If you don't like Dr. fucking Seuss Don't get your kid to read it Don't read it It's simple as that If you don't like something Don't pay attention to it It's not your issue You don't need to make it your issue Because now you have made it your issue And people are going to complain about it. Just like I'm doing right now. Because that's what the point of this show, what really grinds my gear is. Because that's something that really grinds my gears. People who think cancelling an innocent kid's book is great. By the way, Dr. Seuss is dead. So why are you trying to cancel Dr. Seuss? It's not the person, it's not his children's fault. It's not his other relative's fault. It's not his fault. It's your fault for having such a stupid, sick, twisted fucking mind. Sort yourself out. And speaking of cancel culture, yeah? Speaking of cancel culture, Gen Z, which is stupid, are trying to cancel Eminem. That's right, Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady, B-Rabbit, the rap god, for problematic lyrics. Now, back in the day, when he started, he got slaughtered for his lyrics. But did they cancel him? No. No, they did not. Because you cannot cancel him. You cannot cancel, arguably, one of the greatest rappers alive. You just can't. It's Eminem for fuck's sakes. You really think he gives a shit what, one, what some stupid girl on TikTok is saying? She literally posted a video with the fucking lyrics from Love The Way You Lie tied to the bed and set this house on fire. Like, what he, he's, he, Eminem has said worse stuff than that. And that's the one you're paying attention to. And you said, oh yeah, I've grown up listening to this song. Why wasn't it a problem when you were listening to it then? 
Why is it only a problem now? Why only now is it a problem? Because you've made it a problem. That's why. Because you're a fucking snowflake. You're a fucking snowflake that's made it a problem. Get back to bed. Get back to school. Get re-educated. Get re-educated. That's all there is to it. Get re-educated. Now another thing that people are trying... That are, that are making an uproar about. People are complaining about the Amazon logo. Amazon have had to make a small adjustment to their logo. So before... It was like, it was a brown box, you know, with the black Amazon tick and the blue bit of tape. But you know what they've changed? They've had to make changes to the tape. So it was zigzags at the bottom. Like it was a tape with zigzags at the bottom. And now they've just changed it. Why, you may ask? Why have they changed it? Why are people making a fuss about the Amazon logo, you ask? Because apparently, according to cancel culture, it resembles the Hitler mustache. Yep. People reckon it resembles the Hitler mustache. Well, you know what? The only reason people are thinking that it resembles a Hitler mustache is because you've made them think that it resembles a Hitler mustache. Now that you've said it, people can't unsee it. If nobody said anything, people wouldn't notice. So you're the problem. You're the problem to the world. You are the problem. Sort your life out. Sort it out. Now... Onto a lighter topic before I get cancelled. <laughs> well, they could try, but it's not fucking happening. YouTube adverts. So, we all know that YouTube adverts are annoying. When you're trying to watch a video or something like that, you're always going to get blasted in the face by one or two adverts. Even if, if they're not skippable, especially. If you can't skip them, that really grinds my gears. Because I want to skip the video, I want to skip the advert, and watch my video piece free. But no, if you want advert free, you're going to have to pay £10 a month. You have to pay £10 a month for ad free videos. So when I'm watching a video, let's say example, a side men Sunday. I love watching it on a Sunday. I love to watch it fucking interruption free. But no, there has to be an advert at the start there has to be a few adverts during the video like why can't i just watch it in peace i don't want to watch it in peace with money falling out of my pocket so youtube what's up what's up with that why not just do like a five second advert and that's it one advert was enough you don't have to add, add two next thing you'll know it they'll be adding four and like some of these adverts they're like more than 20 seconds long they could be four minutes they could be five minutes they could be five hours, they could be five days, or something like that. But that's what it feels like. When I'm there waiting for an advert to end, it's like I'm waiting years for the video to come. It's honestly annoying. No one cares about your fucking Wix website. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about fucking any mobile games on the App Store or Google Play. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. So, YouTube, please chill on the adverts just do like 10 second advert and that's it that's it that's all we ask we know it's annoying also another thing that grinds my gears people that walk slow what's up with that people walking slow so say you're on the street or you're in a shop you're trying to get ahead of that person but you can't because they're walking slow and there isn't enough room to pass to pass round them so you have to wait for them to just move like it's old people they're not included because you know they're old and they can't like move any quicker than they can so but when when it's like just i don't know old, older people like people in their like 40s or something like that or just just any people in general when they're moving slowly and you're trying to get somewhere it can be annoying. It can be annoying. And on on the topic of annoying, when you're trying to pass through somewhere, is when you bump into someone, you walk left, that person walks the same way. You try and go the other way, that person will go that way as well. It's like, make your fucking mind which way you're going, love, or ma'am, or sir, or whatever you want to be known as. Like, come on. Get a grip. 
get a freaking grip with yourself. I'm trying to go left, so why don't you just stand still and then let me pass through and then carry on with your walk. Carry on. Stop walking slow. Make a decision of which way you're going. Do it. Another thing that grinds my gears. People that don't follow the COVID rules properly, people that think it's fake, people that think it's not real, that it's a myth. Like, you lot are a disgrace. People that are out there having house parties, posting it on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or anything like that, you lot suck. You lot are the reasons I can't go into the pub and have a beer with the boys. You lot are the problem that I can't have a beer with the boys. So, what's up with that? You, you're there, like, po posting it on Facebook and Snapchat and being like, Hey, nothing's gonna happen, blah, 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 blah. But, I can guarantee you, somebody on that friends list is gonna say something and you're gonna get in shit. Legit, you guys are the reason the pubs are closed right now. You guys are the reason nightclubs have been closed, pubs have been closed, restaurants have been closed, like, things like that. You are the reason that people have lost their jobs. So, you know what? People who just have house parties 24-7. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I had to say it three times so you get it stuck in your head. Like, legit. Stop it. The better we do it, the quicker we can get to the nightclubs and pubs. Because that's all we want. You're taking teenagers' life from us. You're taking student life away. You're affecting mental health. You're affecting other people. People can't socialise because of it. So, stop having house parties. Think about other people. I'm not just yourself, you selfish fucking bastards. Sort it out. Sort it out. Moving on. People that do YOLO Q&As on Snapchat. Come on now. How old are you? How old are you? You're not 12. You're not 12 years old still. YOLO Q&As are like the equivalent to like for looks, like for a rate, like for you're the one, and those things on Facebook that we used to do. That is what the YOLO Q&As are the equivalent of. Like, no one cares. Nobody cares. I see people doing it on Snapchat. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, 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 what do you get out of that? If I wanted to ask you a question, I would send you a message myself asking you a question. I wouldn't ask anonymously, because what's the point? What is the point? It's stupid. Plus, like, when somebody asks a question, they post it on, on the story. So, what? What's that about? Why, why, why do you need to let everyone know what people are asking you and, and what your answer is? If people want to ask a question, just go in their DMs and ask them themselves. Stupid. Fucking stupid. Get a life. Grow up. Again, on the topic of social media, you know what grinds my gears? People that ignore messages. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Do you think you're so high and mighty in the world that you can't reply to a friend's message? Like, it could be friends, it could be anything like that, but legit, if you're trying to message someone that you haven't spoken to in a while, or you just message someone just out of nowhere or whatever or whatever something like that you say what's up and they read they read it and you don't get a text back like who do you think you are do you think you're so high and mighty that you don't need to reply to them if you're busy it doesn't hurt just to say it's fucking rude as fuck if you just ignore like legit if anyone was to message me i wouldn't ignore them I, I, if i was busy then i'd say i'm busy legit it's not hard it's not hard so stop thinking you're so high and mighty in the sky and just ugh, sort it out, people. Sort it out. Stop being rude. Again, all right, back to the COVID. People wearing masks without covering their nose. You think you're still not going to get it? You think you only breathe it through your mouth? Nah, my friend. You could breathe it in through your nose as well. Your nose is not invincible. Like, if you're just wearing a mask over your mouth, like, what are you doing? Well, you might as well just not wear a mask. You might as well just scream, Hey, COVID-19, over here, over here, look, over here. Come and get me, come and get me, look, look. I'm not, I'm not wearing a mask. Ah, like legit, what the fuck are you doing? You just look like a tit. You're just stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. 
So wearing a mask properly, it goes over your nose and your mouth. Like, if you're not gonna wear it properly, you might as well look like fucking Mermaid Man of SpongeBob SquarePants. Here's a picture. That's what you look like. That is what you look like, idiots. Now, onto a bit of a lighter topic, I'd like to say. The gaming community. Gaming bugs. Bugs involved in games. And we all know what game we're thinking of. Fucking Cyberpunk. Yep. That game has got more bugs than a person with nits. Let's be honest. That game's got more bugs than a person with nits. Legit. Like, there's a reason that I haven't played it. And that I don't want to play it. Because loads of people have said it's full of glitches. Full of bugs. Just, it's not right. The game doesn't play well, doesn't play smoothly. Like, legit. Did the guys at Rockstar, like, not think it through? Did he not test the game before releasing it? Like, that's a rookie mistake, man. Like, come on, Rockstar. You, you guys are like the GTA people. Like, how can you make a game and for it to have bugs just a few days, weeks, or months, or whatever it is later? Like, come on. Test your games properly. Fucking get, get me in your game studios. I'll fucking test the games. And I'll tell you straight away if it's full of bugs and it's shit. Because right now, Cyberpunk, I'm pretty sure it's fixed now, but, like, come on. Rookie mistake there. Rookie mistake. I don't care if you have to test the game five times. I don't care if you have to test the game 50 times. I don't care if you have to test the game 500,000 times. I don't care if you have to test the game a billion times to make sure it works. Just make sure it works. As long as it works properly, there's no bugs in it, we're all good in the hood. That's all you have to do. That is all you have to do. Now, another thing that we can all relate to. When you need something, but it's not there. And when you don't need it, it's there. It's like, say say if I'm looking for my headphones, my earphones, right? If I, if I really need them, I won't be able to find them. It's like, almost, it's like they've just like automatically grown a pair of legs and just ran off and just hid somewhere where I can't see it. And when I don't need them, they stick out like a sore thumb and I can find them in two seconds. Like, everyone can relate to that. Everybody can relate to that, honestly. It takes the piss. It takes the motherfucking pistol. So yeah, like, what's up with that? It's annoying. It's fucking annoying. Another thing, the final thing, the final thing that grinds my gears. Underage people that try to go out to the pubs or to buy a drink from the shop or tobacco or smoke or anything like that and they ask to borrow your ID. Are you stupid? Have your brain cells gone for a walk to the fucking pub without you? Like, legit, you do know they check the photos as well. They don't just check the age, plus the photo, that sticks out like a sore thumb. So they'll see the photo, and then they'll look at you, and they're like, Hey up, this ain't the person in the photo, you're fake, you're obviously underage, and you're trying to get in illegally. Are you stupid? Yes you are. You don't even need to answer it, because I've just answered it myself. You are stupid. I can guarantee you, when you turn 18, or 21 if you're in the US, and somebody asks to use your ID to get in somewhere, you're gonna say no. And when they say why, you're gonna say exactly the same thing that I've said. Because there's a big picture on it that they'll look and it's not you. And then you'll think, wait, I did that a few years ago. Fuck, I was stupid. You see? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I've had people ask me to borrow their ID, give them my ID. Nah, not happening. Not fucking happening. I don't care who you are. I don't care. Wait your turn. I had to wait my turn. Why can't you wait yours? The amount of young people that are under 18 that I've seen in the clubs before is fucking stupid. Absolute bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Like, it's quite embarrassing seeing them there. I'm like, I know that they're underage. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? You just look stupid here. Get out and go to bed. It's past your bedtime like seven hours ago. Go and read Dr. Seuss. Oh wait, it's cancelled so we can't read that. Go and watch fucking... Go and watch the Fimbles. 
or bot the build or whatever time it's on. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, people just need to think realistically. Stop trying to cancel shit. Stop being stupid and just be normal. Be normal. It's not hard. It's not hard. Now that is all I have to rant about for what really grinds my gears. I hope you enjoyed. News reporter, do you have anything else to say? No, I don't think I have anything else to say apart from, wow, Mr. Walker HG, that was quite a rant you had there. I hope to see you another time for a new rant because that was, that was just, wow. I'm lost for words, but it seems like you spoke everything that you wanted to speak for. So, wow. I'm actually shocked. I am actually shocked. There's a lot of things that grind Mr. Walker HD's gears. And if there's anything else that he finds that grinds his gears, I'm pretty sure he's more than happy to come back here on the HD News and speak his mind. Because, trust me, I don't think he'll hold back on the next one. If things keep going the way they are, he'll have even more things to talk about. So, yeah. This is the end of what really grinds my gears on the Walker HD news. Goodbye and good night to whoever you are. See you next Wednesday for whatever video that comes out. Peace. Stress out, waking up, it's time to get it Ain't no room for the haters, ain't got time for jealousy I'm too focused on the music, the money and where I'm headed Never rain on my parade, I'ma get an umbrella <laughs> Fuck all they damn opinions Never really been the one to listen Ain't no one else in the world, so my vision Still I want the distance and stay driven Gotta go for it, do or die, I can't slow